Okay, I took the path over here, the little path over to the boat shed on the hill. Mm. And uh, I'm just going to uh, show you what's involved in launching the boat. First thing is to untie this cover at the bottom. You don't have to untie it anywhere except at the bottom. And then ensure the plugs are in the boat. Then we're going to go up on top and let her down. Um, the other thing is that there's a little, a little uh, one by th or two by three here that kind of serves as a fail safe in case the winch lets go. And you have to remove that in order to let the boat down. Okay, I've got the cover untied and pulled back a little bit here, and now the plug, I just put the plug in, but it's important to tighten the plug up a little bit because the hole is not perfectly round, so just tighten it up a little bit so that it's going to seal well. And then, uh, then you can fold it over. It should be good and tight there. Okay, got that part done down at the bottom. Now I've climbed up to the top of the boat shed. You can see we've got the old boat lift winch mounted up here. And we're just going to let that go. Now, there's a little fishing lure that I put on the latch because the old latch doesn't really lock in place. So. In order to let this down, you need to pull back slightly on this and hold this lure down. And really, that's all there is to it. Let her go. And down she goes. I'm going to take a break here. Okay, as, as it goes down, there's a chance that it might, as it happened to me, uh, the skeg, which is the back end of the bottom, the back of the boat, got hung up on uh, on the edge of the boat shed as it went down, and I had to go lift up on it a little bit just to free it. So that happens. There's nothing nothing major involved. Just go down and jiggle it or lift up on it a little bit, and it'll start going down again. You can see that the boat is nearly down there in the water. It off here and then we'll pick up again when it's time to rig the boat. Okay, there she is all the way down. So just let, keep letting it down until it's like this, completely in the water. And you'll know from the top whether it's all the way down by, by noticing that there is some slack in the cables. So if you see the cables are slack, that means it's all the way down. it is down. It's just a matter of detaching it. You can see that there's a, a quick release thing here. You just unscrew this part and you can detach it from, from the boat. I think. That's gone. Okay. I put it in the water and I put the oars in relax. Kind of tightly. So, 
Closer to see the slot? You can probably see it. Okay. Because I don't want to step in the water. This is the part down here. This part attaches up here. 
switch this around here. Where the corner of the sail attaches is far out from the mast. It's actually easier to attach that last. At this end of the boom, we have a bolt going through the boom, and there's an old uh, X screw, which I'm going to replace here with a thumbs for the wing nut. But, uh, bolt goes through this wooden thing that's in front of the mast. I don't know what the name of it is.
Another way of doing it is turning with the wind. That's called jibing. When the wind is coming this way and you're sailing downwind, and you just turn all the way around. Anyway, you figure it out. Tacking is preferred. It's more safe. Um, because when you're diving, the wind can catch the sail and fairly violently swing it around. Uh, in the case of this boat, the boom is mounted high. If you're sitting in the boat, it's not going to hit you in the head, so that's nice. Um, one other thing I want to mention is if you're uh, sailing fast, Got the sail and you're really zooming along. Uh, say you wanted to slow down. <laughs> say you're coming into the dock at high rate of speed. You want to slow down before you get into the dock. There are a couple of ways of slowing down. Um, if you do these two things in combination, you're guaranteed to slow down quickly. Um, one is to loosen the sheet, let the sail swing out a little bit so the wind can't press on it. The other thing that's guaranteed to stop you pretty short is if you turn into the wind. Turn so the boat is facing into the wind. So if you're coming in at speed into the dock and uh, then to slow down, start turning into the wind, and you will definitely slow down. You want to do that close enough in so that you're not stuck out here. Something you have to practice. Okay. Well, I think that's probably enough. Uh, the other thing is when you're tacking, uh, if there's quite a bit of wind, you need to shift from one side to the other. You should be on the upstream side of the boat when you're sailing. You Very important. If you, if you feel like you're going to tip over, go to the other side of the boat. Yeah. Your body is And the don't balance. scream too much, right? <laughs> Everybody's on one side, and attack. suddenly the wind is on the other side. If you say there are two people on the boat, if you stay on this side, uh, the boat is going to tip the wind in. It could take the water over the side, or it could even capsize. So remember, your body is the key to balancing the boat. And Hard to explain, but easy to understand when you try it doing it. When you try it. Get out on the water. Sail a little bit. That's really the best way to learn. So have fun. It's an easy boat to sail.
can't really see that from this side, Greg. Um, all we're seeing is the sail wrapped around you. Which end? Oh, the end? Okay. Demonstrating the fact that the wind will blow the sail where it wants to. You can't control where the wind takes the sail. Thank you. 